You want to have a boys' day out? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you got it, buddy. <laughs> a little wing and wide body action on the sole. Shoot. Found it. Good boy. Here we go. There you go, Drusif. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, boy. I miss. I miss. Hello. Goodbye. We're going back home. Originally, this car was supposed to be a, a budget boosted build. This is the worst rear suspension configuration I've ever seen. The good thing is I have this little guy for these handy situations. There you go, you see that little, that little black plate? The bolt literally hits the freaking black plate. Nope, it's halfway through. And it's hitting that plate back there. Still? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, save me again. Spicy! Flush. Nice and flush. Now, what I've got to do is the front suspension. A few moments later. Well, they don't fit. That is so annoying. Are you guys ready? You guys have been waiting so long for the IS300. If you like IS300s, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you guys drop a comment. The comment section has been fantastic lately. I love it. It's amazing. Let Drew know how much you appreciate his work today. <laughs> I've seen a lot of you guys uh, that hasn't gone unnoticed. So big shout out to Drew. I'm gonna show you some stuff that we've been getting done behind the scenes. We're obviously gonna be working on the IS300 today. Finally, yesterday, Drew got the whole fuel system done. The whole yeah, thing. I'm to do it. I just have a couple of and we're done. Dude, unit. You are a unit, Drew. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit. Also, dude, guys, I just gotta, I gotta show you this. The garage is out of control right now, hold on. Too, so much going on. We have got an exhaust coming for the GF8. I'm super excited about that. Uh, Jose is gonna actually be coming today to do some more work on the Skyline uh, for the trunk setup. I've got so much ordered for this, but check this out. Also, this was Drew's idea, and this is a, a good way for him and I to be on the same page with a lot of stuff, but I had to buy a big ass whiteboard, and this, everything written on this board, is stuff that needs to be crossed off and done. So we have no shortage of content and no shortage of stuff to do. I'm not gonna waste too much time on giving you guys any like major updates, but we've got so much cool stuff going on. Those are my AMG wheels. Not gonna show you those quite yet, but they are literally a work of art. But here we go. Let's go ahead and work on the IS. Big thanks to a few companies that made this video possible today. Big channel supporters for one, Deechworks. We've got Deechworks fuel systems in every one of my cars and they just honestly they're Did you bring did you bring that gas in your in your FRS? Yes. That's impressive. <laughs> Deechworks is amazing. Give them some love if you need any fuel stuff. Powerhouse Racing. They give us a little bit of a discount on the battery relocation and ABS relocation kit. We're gonna be doing that this video. Also, it's been a while. Tweaked Performance made us this beautiful engine harness for the IS300. If you guys have a JZ car, Tweaked is absolutely the move. So Tweaked is a, is a supporter as well. Guy who runs it is, is, a, is a fantastic guy. Very cool dude. And then we also have a sponsor for this video, Infocar, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. For this car, it has a fuel pressure regulator in the tank, like where the pump is. And so we had to, uh, I'll show you guys a picture of it. Drew did this fantastic job of setting it up, welding off that and uh, closing it off. But he had to actually make a return line as well because we are using a, a Deechworks FPR. So we've got a new fuel filter. We're just buttoning it up using P clamps and such now. So good. So he's ran this into the tank and we've got a fuel system now. So I usually don't film stuff like that because it's not the most exciting thing in the world to watch, but it's nice to be able to see it when it's done. So the things we have left, Ooh, battery relocation and just basically buttoning stuff up. We gotta do plumbing. Car should run actually pretty soon, so. Pretty amped on that. I'm not gonna hurt myself saying on camera about this week. Okay. <laughs> I'm still gonna put that in the video. Before we continue, I have to give a big thank you to today's video sponsor. Infocar has sponsored this video in particular. It helps me a ton when you support the people that support the channel, so I do wanna give a big thank you to them. Infocar is a little OBD2 device. It's a tiny little Bluetooth device that plugs straight into your OBD2 port. It's very easy to use and it's very easy to set up and it gives you tons of useful information. Stuff like lateral Gs, your throttle positioning. It takes all information from your car's ECU 
and displays it, like there's like 50 or 100 tabs. You, it, It's crazy. It can also be used as even just a code reader. It's very easy to install. I put it on my AMG. Once you put it in your OBD2 port, you just go to the app store, download the free app. It takes like 15 seconds to sign up. You choose your car and then you let her rip. Go drive around. While you're driving, you get real-time dashboard data and real-time dangerous situation monitoring. It's got really cool monitoring features. You have multiple screens to choose from. You can calculate your engine power and your torque, your engine load. You can even see your RPMs live time while you're driving, your accelerator position. And then you've also got diagnostics after you're done driving. So if you have engine codes, it'll confirm, show you what's pending, what's permanent. The monitoring and diagnostics is one of the coolest things about this. No gimmicks here, nothing crazy. I just have a link for you guys for Amazon. It's purchasable on Amazon. <laughs> That's one of the best. <laughs> I, if it's on Amazon, I, I love it. Guys, especially with Volkswagens, you need this tool. Check engine light, gang. Stop driving around with check engine lights. Know what it is. Check out Invocar, and big thank you for sponsoring this video. Sponsors are how this channel breathes and survives. My, my gimbal is charging, so forgive my shakiness. Uh, I actually did make a video. I just didn't upload it. I got sent the wrong parts. It's pretty frustrated. I'm actually still waiting on my shortened spindles. I ordered them to, over two months ago. So that's why I kind of just have not touched the car because I'm still waiting on parts after all this time. But I did install all of the rear suspension that I needed. It was a pain in the ass, but we got it. Now, uh, ABS relocation. So this ABS module, I'll show you here in a second, and the battery are just in the way of the engine bay. So as you can see over here, the battery used to be right here. We're now relocating it to the trunk. This ABS module, as you can see, it's it's not, the module itself is not necessarily in the way, but these lines are literally right next to the turbo and that's very dangerous. So I'm gonna be messing with the hot side today. Drew's going to be tackling the fuel stuff and getting the intake manifold on. We're gonna get this, this engine bay wrapped up and it's gonna look so good. The way the oil pressure feed for the turbo works on these JZ cars, the IS300 actually has a union bolt that's pre-tapped. You can buy these and that's what you usually have to do if you turbo your in a Supra or in a GS300, you have to buy this bolt. So it's got an NPT fitting in there and I gotta get that bolt out and um, it's not listening to me right now. So whenever the bolt says no, you tell them you listen to daddy. There you go, daddy gets what daddy wants. <laughs> these union bolts are kind of cool. You have, to, you have to buy one of these or you can tap and make one yourself but these bolts are like $11 through Lexus. So, but yeah, it's a union bolt. It's got to tap in there for oil pressure uh, for your turbo. See, son, all you got to do is do whatever daddy says. <laughs> it really did not want to fit into this because NPT and BPT are just slightly different. Um, the threads on BPT or whatever this is, or NPT, whatever it is, they taper. That's the word. They taper. Um, and then NPT is just like straight the whole way. So you got to basically just yeet. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, don't, don't fudge her, don't fudge her up. Just had to use some good line wrench and I actually can see some aluminum coming out. So we just, we just <laughs> re-threaded, made our own. <laughs> Here we go. And that is tight as hell. Interesting fitting. But now this is gonna go into there. So we've got the union bolt going to there. Still getting the oil pressure, so we got to keep all the factory stuff. And now we go dash four over to the turbo. Check her out. What a beauty, dude. We are out of this piece. Oh, nice. Okay, we need to maybe extend. I don't think that harness needs extension. So this is it. And now I just, I assume it's just, I mean, it's gonna go in here. I don't know how, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna toss her in there right now, brother. Sad we gotta get rid of these beautiful Lexus hard lines, but it doesn't matter. Now everything's gonna move. It's kind of dark, sorry. Everything's gonna move right in to there and uh, we then got to relocate the battery to the trunk so it's looking it's gonna look good we're gonna have so much more space once these are off a definite necessity for if you are wanting to do a turbo setup on an NA2JZ Now, so we've got 
the turbo clocked and figured out how it's gonna be. Drew is getting the intake manifold on, so we gotta just figure this out, get everything bolted up, and uh, we're just gonna get the bay finished up today. I wanted to give you guys a nice big update, and I would expect next video of this car to actually be running and possibly moving under its own way. I need to go ahead and uh, do this ABS relocation now, so that it's actually super simple. Uh, kinda hard to see back here. But uh, it's nice, it, it's, it's super out of the way. They actually do you uh, the graces of, of labeling every line and telling you where it goes. Now, I actually marked it out, so I wasted a little bit of time, but we're gonna start doing that. And then completely finishing up. Wow, that camera went crazy at the bay. on the meth supra? Mmm. Mmm, vibes. We've got, I actually found this, this was for my supra build, and I never wanted to use it because I didn't have the room for it, but I'm probably gonna use it just to have an intake that's uh, not intaking such high heats right there. So, but we've got the intake manifold is on pretty much. Fueling is almost taken care of we got fuel to the rail and then we just got to go here and uh, i've got some miscellaneous stuff everywhere but here we got it to this orb we've got to go from there to the fpr and then fpr back it should be connected now i'm just getting everything from the phr abs delete or uh, relocation run to its source or where it's supposed to be that's pretty much it we've got the turbo clocked how we want it um, I've got some of the lines kind of where I want them, where we want them, the water lines, the oil lines are good. We're not going to get the car started this video, that'll be next video. I'll, you guys got to wait, get on the edge of your seats for that one. We've got a battery relocation right here, so the battery's going to be in there. And look at this, there's a full size wheel in here, dog. Look at this freaking flexing on everybody else with this, god dang. That's more tools than some girls' boyfriends have in their entire garage. In an IS300, that is impressive. Or should I say, that's more tools than Jeep dudes have in their garage. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need tools when you just go to the mall. <laughs> any bones to pick with how any of this has been done, or is it, you like it? Um, I'm actually not a huge fan of the aluminum cable, but it may wind up being okay in this scenario. I'm kind of picky with my circuit protection on some stuff. Mm -hmm. So we've got a fuse at the back to kind of protect the entire harness or the entire cable if something happens with it. Mm -hmm. But I'd also like to see something up front, like if the alternator pops, um, oh, there's a true. lot more circuit protection That's that good. you can include in this. Drew's really good at the wiring stuff, so I trust him. It's still obviously a, co a cool product, and it's one of the only ones out there. Um, let me show you actually what we're going, Jose's almost here again. We've been doing something in the back Background too, just letting you guys know we are getting the epoxy and the uh, the flooring finished for the R33. So that was the last video, in case you guys missed that. Just getting everything finished, but the engine bay is practically done. Only a few things I really want to do. I, I do really want to weld the diff on this car, or buy. Drew was saying a BRZ FRS diff. Uh, it'd be kind of nice to have an LSD in the car. But the goal is to see the car running. ASAP. Let's play a game called Do the Downpipe Fit. <laughs> All right, and uh, whoa. she's a little close. She's a little tight. See, I don't know about this one. Oh, it do. Oh my God, you guys see this? It's basically touching the manifold, but it's perfect. That it's like, perfect. it's a millimeter away. <laughs> a little uh, ball peen hammer wall fix. Uh oh, a little bit of ball and peen. That's all everybody needs. I just wanna hear it. And here we go. We wanted to do it this way, cause uh, particularly on the IS300, there's some very nice under paneling protective. And so, I mean, if the fuel stuff can be there, so can this. I prefer the, the fire to be away from people. <laughs> So True, not on the inside. The car's on the ground and it's so good. I finally put the wheels back on and stuff. It's been a while, but look how good this looks, dude. So we've got, uh, Drew did a great job on the fuel stuff. Look at this, it's got, it's so nice. Runs through there, it's all Deech Works. Oh my gosh, I, uh, I, need, I wish I had a little bit better lighting over here. I'm sure you guys can see it, but 
it's not, it's, you're not seeing it with my eyes, so it's not nearly as good. Only thing we've got to do at this point is make the turbo drain and fabricate the, uh, the intercooler stuff. And that's what I'm excited about because this car is going to look so mean. I mean, there's something about an intercooler on the front of just about any car that makes it look considerably more aggressive and a lot cooler. Uh oh, what are you doing? Obviously, you guys might see that we have some missing uh, bolts on the studs on the exhaust manifold. That's fine. We're not completely finished with the hot side yet. It's going to be on and off. Next video, we will have a startup for you guys and uh, probably some some revving and just some just some heartwarming some heartwarming Jay Z action. There's just something about when a Jay Z starts up. Something happens inside and it's amazing. Yeah, let me actually explain to you guys real quick. The reason why I need, really need these shortened spindles is because this is, well for one, this is the maximum amount of negative camber I can run. So it'll rub, but also I can't do any more negative camber and the spindle will hit the strut tower and that's sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. I've got to hella adjust the rear. You see there's lots of negative camber. I did all new suspension back there. I can actually give it a lot more positive camber. Probably just need like negative six degrees. That's probably like negative nine or 10 right now. Even on this side, this side is really bunk. <laughs> it's like negative 10 or 11. This car just looks so sick. More negative camber is better? Mm more like negative 25 right on the road negative 25 is is where we're going for Perfect. we got to impress the depressed guys on twitter i just i just want to i just want to hear the uh oh just want to hear the i'm excited for the noises guys jay-z all of the things just kidding don't do that because you're making them more expensive stop jay-zing stuff for the first time in a while guys i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i'm pretty stoked about what's going on because we've actually been able to finish some stuff. It's like it's like how the uh, Avengers they have a Hulk, I have a Drew. <laughs> so we're able to complete so much. And Drew, a lot of people are doubting the fact that we can even get the 350Z back. I think it's a fun challenge. You guys doubt. This is a two-man squad right now. But anyways, a big thanks to uh, Deech Works. Tweaked harnesses, I can't, I can't not plug them. It's been such a long time and I feel bad, but Tweaked, uh, he did such a great job on this harness and it looks good. He did this huge custom job that uh, he completely redid the bay harness, but also extended extended the harness to go back into because the, the ECU used to be right here. We can't do that with a forward facing manifold so we he uh, made a new harness that goes all the way back there and uh, it's awesome. Also powerhouse racing. So that ABS delete cleaned up the engine bay a ton and uh, it looks pretty clean. Like I'm not gonna lie I absolutely prefer hard lines but it's still clean and it's doable and it looks good. And uh, we now have this giant empty space right there that I might have to put a catch can or something in. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, it helps me a ton. Uh, not monetarily or anything, but it does help me when you guys support the companies that support us, makes us look good and uh, makes them very happy and it continues our content. Every video guys, at the end of every video, I give you guys daily advice. Today, this is, a, this is something that I, um, came up with. I used to have some some quiet times a lot when I was in college. I was going through so much trying to start YouTube and start my business and start my life. I was about to get married and like it was just scary. I'll preface it. I'll preface it with this. I have done YouTube. I started my channel in 2008. I really started doing it about 10 years ago. I've been doing it about 10 years, guys. I always had big aspirations for myself. I always wanted to be big. I always wanted to be the biggest and the best, to be honest. And I think that's that's good. That's that's a good thing to want for yourself. During my rise of YouTube, I have seen so many people start after me and fly past me, and uh, it, 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 it just is like that. And with regards to what I was saying earlier, my life advice for you guys, and this is something that I came up with when I was like almost crying to press, like, am I doing the right thing? Just because progress is slow doesn't mean progress is finished. You might take longer to get to where you want to be than you, than, than you desire, than you want. But just because your progress is slow doesn't mean it's over. It's only over when you quit. See, the thing about me is I'm here right now in this amazing garage with all these really awesome cars. For one, by the grace of God, and two, because I never quit. There's something about not giving up that is just a part of life. And a lot of people just associate it with money and a job, but it could be about your health. It could be about your diet. 
It could be anything, literally anything. I mean, you could be working out, not losing weight as fast as you want. Just because your progress is slow doesn't mean it's over, doesn't mean it's finished. You might not be where you wanna be right now. You might not be as far as you want to be. And you might not get there for a long time, but the only guaranteed way you're not gonna get there is if you stop, if you stop trying. Keep going today. Have a positive mindset. That's what I'm gonna leave you guys with today. You have an amazing day. Make sure you subscribe, turn those notifications on, and I'll catch you guys later. Deuce. Hey. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. Watch, watch, the, watch the videos and subscribe. But most importantly, ready, ready for it, ready for it. Have a good day. Bye.